And then we're going to describe to you a little bit what we want to do. Yeah. So we advertise it for Saturdays and Sundays, two o'clock, as theory and practice, meaning we're going to work as short as possible on theory, on the making of a piece, and as long as possible outdoors to perform it. Uh, so performing, I guess, uh, when you go somewhere with a performance, you don't have to invite people, you don't force them to drive somewhere, instead you go to them. So it's a better way of performing. And you don't charge them, you rather give them a lollipop or a piece of bread or something. In our case, it's got a piece of bread with aioli and a garlic on it. So that when they come home, they will smell so strong, the family will say, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> they will say, you know very well what the water. smell is. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't need to do theory with you, auto performing, free performing, to go to a crowd, an unexpected crowd, is much more fun than uh, having a chair with a seat and a $10 sign, and oh, we'll go collecting the money, finding the chair, and all that bullshit. Not needed. So if we can afford it, as long as we can afford it, we want to do it this way. It's winter time, so we're going to shoot for short performances, not what they call the entertainment industry standards of entertaining people for a certain amount of time which is always very difficult to do, because when you have been paid $10 for your ticket, you have to feel, my God, but I have only $7.50 entertainment. <gasps> How do I do it? <laughs> do I have given back the $2.50? Or... <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> so we are avoiding all this by doing it out in local, we asked around the stores that would like us to do it and to give us their parking lots as performing spaces and the co-op in Hardwick is uh, wants us there. There's a coffee shop in Hardwick also that wants us on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. Then there's a much larger co-op in Montpelier, but that's an hour away, so we will see if, if we ever get there. The time of day is a little precarious, so if we work here at two, mm -hmm. If we go to Hardwick and we leave here at 2.30 or 3, we still are there in good daylight. To Montpelier, yeah. it becomes a little bit right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it goes into the dark. And we don't want to go into putting car lights on the show and stuff like that. We want to do it in daylight. So we do it on the brink of this. So this is Mora. My collaborator, <laughs> long time collaborator, <laughs> and she will help me to do whatever. Whatever we do. <laughs> whatever we need to do, yeah. We will avoid making pieces that have too much puppetry and heavy duty props. We will do a program that can be packed easily. Like this one is called the Cantastoria. Have anybody of you heard about Cantastoria? Yeah, you have, right. Cantastoria is an ancient thing, and so the, the Chinese have it, the Indians have it. It traveled from India to Europe approximately in the 13th century, and then became a standard in all the European cultures, in Italy, in England, in Germany, all over the place. It uh, was latest news painted and uh, on commission paintings. The, it was not the painters who were the performers. It was performers who did the performing and to, who commissioned painters to paint what they wanted. And the, uh, yeah, it was, I, I still saw that in the street in Germany as a kid. So it's a thing that really stood with, it was done. You may know the Three Penny Opera by Brecht that starts with the Cantastoria. 
the telling of the story of, of Maki, Maki Mesa, and so on. We went once to uh, a festival, you know, this is a story that I've told many times, so excuse me for saying <laughs> uh, Washington Mall used to have folk festivals when Ralph Winslow was the boss of the Smithsonian and uh, invited us and we performed there. And part of the folk festival was Indian Cantastorium. And that particular family, whom I learned to know there, performed a canvas about this size, an excerpt of the Mahabharata, the famous Indian piece of writing. And they, that family had made a living of the telling of that Cantastoria for 800 years. So if you want a job for 800 years, <laughs> was pretty amazing. And it was a family job. The, the mama did the oil lamps that you needed to light it. The dad did the pointing stick and the drum. And daughter and son had other singing jobs and also a, a strumming instrument, a guitar -like instrument. So, yeah, pretty amazing. So, just consider it. You know, if you want to live on the table, yes, and have an income, that, this is the way to do it. Yeah. And the money making at these kind of stories was checkbooks or other such little pamphlets where they printed the text, which was usually versified text, and was fitted to modern melodies that they knew would attract people. And that the selling of these little chapbooks was the income of those performers, usually. Because it's in the street, you can't just ask for money that way. So this is what we will also use. We will have chapbooks and sell them. But we are even uh, a little more advanced anti-capitalist. So we are going to tell them about an anti-capitalist special New Year's sale, which is uh, for one, we charge you half a buck. For two, for a quarter, for good luck. If you need a total of three, hallelujah, three are free. <laughs> so we're going to make our next million bucks. <laughs> so this is the one we want to utilize. This is for this story. But I want to give you more of an overview of what we want to do. So we are going to start at 2 o'clock with rehearsals. I think for time being, let's say every time, right? Mm -hmm. Unless we find out that the company is becoming the same. Mm -hmm. Then we could afford to say, OK, we utilize Saturday for rehearsal and Sunday for performing. Mm -hmm. We could do that. But that would require that it's always the same people, which we won't have. We don't expect that. So I would say probably we will start every Saturday and Sunday 2 o'clock right here. Mm -hmm. And then make the decision how long we rehearse as short as possible, and then go out and do it. Mm -hmm. So we are going to work on this one today and perform it tomorrow. And then next week, we are going to have another one. And uh, that will be according to the news at the news hub. So the news, as you know, are sold to us by the truth industry. The truth industry is so good at not only telling the truth, but also big lies at the same time. And especially wonderful omissions, where it's so inconvenient to tell something so they won't tell it. And they are very good, much better at omissions than on actual reporting. It's their strengths. You have to, it's called reading in between the lines. So all the things they leave out are way more interesting than what they print. That's the truth industry. And so what we are doing is called uh, the parking lot newscasters. And it's the opposite of the news industry. And the subtitle was the poster 
is the Black Not Bomb Eaters. Because Black Not Bomb is a movement we want to support. And, and the, since we normally don't eat bombs, we put in the title. So, performed by the Bread Not Bomb Eaters. So, we are going to take our table with a loaf of bread along and an airplane. We are going to bombard the table with the the of bread. <laughs> now we have to slice that bread, it's smeared with garlic, and force feed the public. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else do we need to know? The changing programs I'm interested in is, for example, what's happening in Palestine, so Mr. Biden just uh, sent a big congratulations to Mr. Netanyahu. They are shooting teenage boys at least two or three a day, killing them. Imagine all these mothers and grandmas and families with these little boys lying dead in the street. No reporting in the West on this bare, bare minimum. Happens every day. And they're unbelievable. American money, all American money, to the tune of billions of dollars every year. Yeah, Mr. Biden, you know, is supposed to be sort of a peacemaker. He's the opposite. He's a big woman. Supports this, you know. Congratulates these crooks. These are criminals. It's a criminal government, totally. They call themselves a democracy, total bullshit. They called uh, South Africa a democracy. America did. America supported the apartheid in South Africa. They couldn't have lasted this other American support. That's the fact that the truth industry doesn't utilize. You know, it's so much easier to omit it, just not talk about it. So this is anti-truth industry as well as just entertainment, what we do. <laughs> and there will be other scenes, you know, there will be things that have to be said about this what's happening in uh, Ukraine with the glorified Ukrainian liberation people, most of whom are fascists and <laughs> violent, uh, anti, well, the, the northern parts get bombarded regularly by the Ukraine, that's not in the papers anymore. It's, uh, it's just the evil Russians, it's so wonderful. Now we have an evil Knievel again. That's what America always needs, you need an evil Knievel that you can go after morally so easy to consolidate it on a few people who are the bad ones you want to find. That's exactly what's happening again. 70% of these billions of dollars of weapons that America sends, they go on the black market, and nobody else knows where they end up. So these huge praises of how America supports this so-called liberation is uh, black marketeering. The, the profiteers are the big arm, arms industry people, the, and, you know what is called the military industrial complex, and that's the truth of the matter. So anyway, I just want to alert you to the fact there's going to be theme changes from one week to another. We're going to get even the New York Times to read that cliche paper and pick out certain things and pick on them and make them into shows. That's the process. And maybe, Peter, as, Enough. We, Peter, right. as we go, if you give topics, maybe people can also look up sources and totally, bring that totally. text. And, yeah. You know, because what's exciting is we're making these shows together. You know, so yeah, what people want to bring. And we can give it to Peter, he can think about that. You can also email it to me, and I can give him any totally. texts that you have come across. Yeah, but we will also have shows where it's done directly. For example, we have a whole forest of yelling trees. Trees yell silently because they yell because people don't yell. They should yell, but they don't. So we have yelling trees, and the trees have tears. And these are the tears of the Valley of Tears in which we live. And they need inscriptions as to why they are crying. And that allows you to put your priorities of crying matter onto the tears. And let me see what we do with them. 
that's another one of these things, it seems, that we will work with. They're yelling fast. Good. Shall we start? Let's start. Okay, can we get you all here? Yeah. Ah, let me talk one more thing. So the piece has language in it, pictures, and hopefully music, and dances. Yeah? Yeah. And we will work on that, on how that distributes. So Fiona, if you want to, one of your instruments, your own choice, ready, and can think of a little dedo that you can repeat, a, rather than pure improvisation, it's better to think of one little thing that can be repeated, that's more useful yeah. for the continuation of the storytelling. Okay, so let's say this is the streets, and we are the aggressors. <laughs> And so we have to stand facing them, not each other. Come closer. This is our, our warfare here, this is our tank. <laughs> but if you hide it, they can't, they can't see it. So you don't get used to it. This is Hunter Storia's time. You group yourselves on the two sides of the picture teller. You need a stick more, you have a stick, a pointer stick. Yes. And so we go from the text together. The text will be manager uh, voice and choral repeats. So that mixture of manager voice, choral repeat, piece of instrumental, back to text, pointing, etc. All the, the, the structure is given in these 12 chapters of the story. Okay, well, so this is called uh, the happiness obligation, and as you see, it features as main feature the upside down queen of happiness. Yeah, she's upside down, permanent. But that, okay, more. Okay. Text. So, do we get, I pick a text now, and then maybe we can yeah. teach someone else to what, use some what, of the text? What? Okay, so just so you have an example. Okay. So then, so the, the happiness obligation comes to Korea. As you can see, it's right here. Brought to you by? Brought to you by? No, you know the title. What's, oh. the, title? What's the group's title? Oh, uh, the parking lot newscasters. Yeah. And that's us again to the back? Yeah. Okay. That's a good excellent. Who <laughs> What is it about again? Okay. Brought to you by? Hey, try, try a good one. Try one that we can walk on you. Brought to you by the parking lot newscasters. Yeah, look, okay, yeah, excellent. Fine, in the civil class, and you go. Yeah. You want to sit on the side? Okay. Picture, Picture one. Uh, when do I point? Before or after the text? That's fine, Okay. A typical partial happiness retarded by the military economic empire. Okay, so here is a historian 12 pictures. A typical, ordinary, everyday happiness is retarded by the military industrial complex empire. This is result of burning buildings and people and all the rest of it. Something like that. Right? You make it up. Let's go piece by piece. Okay. Pay attention, because one of you might be doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Who yeah. wants to marry it? You know, shake yeah, and then say really? do it. Yeah. Good, okay. Okay. Uh, it uh, brought to you in 12 pictures. Picture one here. A partial happiness retarded by the military economic empire. Yeah, then I will drop that in more. Let's keep working on the world on the world also. Yeah? Yep. Our everybody's typical normal happiness is very definitely retarded by that thing there. They cost a billion dollars of our tax money. That's why we have paid to all the taxes. 
Okay, I'll try to have that pet you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get emotional again. All right, you want to give this a try? Sure. Okay. I want to be loud. It's be in loud. the street. Okay, yeah. it's cars here. Yeah. 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 Right here, number one. A typical partial, partial ha happiness. Retarded by the military economic empire. Okay, good enough. Not bad. Good. And therefore, we will now do a military retarded empire job. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. And therefore, not very helpful to your bringing some the course. If you all stand exactly the same way, for example, then you can do this much more effectively. Or you can do this much more effectively. Yeah. So all either stand like this or something like this. And let me see how we get you out of here. Do it again. Do you like these sounds, Peter? Sure. And therefore, we will now perform for you a typical retarded military empire dance. Therefore, we will now show you a typical military retarded dance. Good. Empire dance. Good. Empire. Now we start. Come on. Good. For this year? Good, let's do it on today. Peter, should we try a different person for each box? Yeah. Since you won't be here tomorrow, right? For the yeah. performance? Oh, good. I okay, be. who I wants to do number two? Oh, good idea. Okay. Good idea. Good, let's okay. keep passing it on. Good, next one. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do idea. like a circle. Good. Do a circle. Well, everyone should learn all the lines, and then we'll see, because we're going to have to be filling in. Good, okay. A small but possible happiness is achieved by wood splitting. Is that it, or? Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. The pointing. Think of where the pointing should. It seems to me that the pointing is specific to the wood splitting. Mm -hmm. A typical, normal, everyday, ordinary happiness is achieved by <laughs> wood splitting. Yeah. Yeah, now the question is, when do you point to these funny claims that shoot out of the brain? I think <laughs> that's what a typical... No, what's this? Right? A typical, as, as soon as any oh, of as, soon. as soon as ordinary flame shooting out of the brain, happiness is achieved. It has demands on this. How do we make sure you as soon as any quantity of happiness is achieved, it has demands on us. Good. And now we do the demand start. And the appropriate dance, please. And are you going to give us some sound for that? Yes. Sound is good for time making. Okay. Sorry. And then demands on it, how we do demands on it. Suffering. 
Something suffering. And the consequence suffering. That, 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 that works. And the consequence suffering. So what does it say? Then the consequence unnecessary suffering. From the standpoint of happiness, a new sense has to be invented, which has to a new sense, a new sense. Yes. Right, like the six senses. A new sense has to be invented, which has to confront politics and the degraded environment and the consequent suffering. Yeah, and the consequent unnecessary suffering. Unnecessary suffering. Yeah. Consequent unnecessary suffering. Yeah. Consequent unnecessary suffering. Yeah, you want to try it again? Yes. And now let's figure out how you start this. To me, that chain represents the sense. The sense? Because that's the chair I'm sitting on top of the sufferers here. Mm. That we're talking about. So the sense. Okay. That's why right there. Got it. If I step out from here. Yeah. From the standpoint of happiness, a new sense has to be invented, which has to con- not in general, point directly to the chair. A new sense good, no, good. <laughs> has to be invented, which has to confront politics and the degraded environment and the consequent unnecessary suffering. Right there. Right, the sufferers are right there. Yeah. And the consequent unnecessary suffering. Good. What's it done? That's an unnecessary are we on the number? Number five. Hi. Okay, I'll just move it. Is it a little hard to read? No, I'm just a slow reader. But now I understand it, so I'll know what it says. Here are six steps necessary for a happiness intoxicated life. Yeah. Now let's say this is because the six steps are in the forthcoming pictures. So let's make this one not too, yeah, I think the pointing to these different arms and legs is actually good. Yeah, let me just think it's the first sure. step, yeah? So here are, uh, here you see, for this line, you feed me. Uh, here are six steps leading to a happiness intoxicated life. Good. And now we will present to you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new steps. <laughs> six, though, right? Six. Okay. <laughs> six, uh, uh, five and a half and six. Okay. So I should say I now will present to you. <laughs> it, it makes no difference. Okay. You make it up. Okay. We will present to you now six steps for a happiness intoxicated life. Yeah, good. When you speak, make sure that the pointing doesn't make your voice go that Ah, way. yes. Yeah, okay. so six, one, two, three, four, four and a half, <laughs> five, six. Okay. I think it's awkward, too long. Give her a time um, stick yeah. or something. Okay. That's okay. a little thing. Yeah. All right, sounds good. <laughs> okay, we will present to you one, two, three, four, five, six steps leading to a happiness intoxicated life. Good. Excellent. Good. Okay. And then what do we do? Shall we do the intoxication? Uh, or happy. Or sex. Or sex. Intoxication. Yeah. <laughs> Jolly brain and body wiggling and dancing 
from the toes up. Yeah, good. These are the toes up. The toes up picture, I think the point thing is when you say the word toes. From the toes up. Yeah? Don't yeah. point earlier, then you make this more specific. So I come out and say, step one. Jolly brain and body wiggling, dancing from the toes up. Yeah, good. I'm going to do it from the toes up. Please. Stop, stop, stop. 
Stop, stop, in, up in place, as you can saw. Yeah, can you try that? Let's see what we Start from the beginning? Yeah. yeah. Gestures. They come across better. If you individualize them, they become too complex to take in for the brain. If you make a unified gesture, what's the classic for, for uh, uh, unhappiness? I think it's this, right? Hands over there, yeah. Yeah. little dipping down. Let's try to find a unified response in gesture. Deprived of happiness. Oh. <laughs> No, let's try another version of that. Make two things of it. Deprived of happiness. Oh, let's try that. In public places, deprived of happiness. And I think so. Good, excellent, good. And then bang at the end that people can go into straight position again. Okay. Good, okay, next one. I say we should say that together, the bread not bombs. <laughs> All of us. Everybody say it together. Everybody say it together. So yeah. When it? you point to it and you all say it together. Yeah? Let's try it. Pertinent slogans for the moment at hand. Bread, bread not bombs. Not bombs. I would say since we have a bread as a bomb and an aircraft and a table, Available. That's exactly where we should start. Then Fiona picks up the bread to the airplane, and we all go humming. Ooh, to flush it to when somebody puts the table there right in the middle. Ooh, and the airplane is there, and the bread drops on the table. So we get a bang for it, and. We start slicing the point, right? Well, not yet. Maybe not. Because we won't need the rest of it. Does anyone have a drone? Can we do a drone strike of bread? <laughs> 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 Let's try it. Okay. And then we uh, need... Yeah, the let's airplane. do this one again. And then do the airplane and the bread for that. Not that airplane. Here's the bread. Let's put that next to bread. Okay, good. And then, River, do you want to bring this out? Sure. So we'll say that it's just to the side with you for now. Okay. And then we'll see when it comes out. Should we fold it up and... Uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Whatever you want. Perfect slogan for the moment at hand. Bread, not bombs. Bombs, oh, my God, don't. Then it starts, and you give a nice clap on the symbol, and it falls. Okay. Yeah. Can we do that again? Yeah. Yes, yeah. so. Yeah. I'll find one. It'll be a drum for now. Perfect slogans for the moment at hand. fly a circle in addition to what you fly. Okay. It, it's clearer when you do a one-pass thing. The circle is good, but not the repeat little mm -hmm. circle. So you fly it here, and then the important thing is that you get the right hand pretty high up, and then when she does the click, you let the bread down and keep the airplane there. Okay. And then we can see what we do with the airplane. Mm -hmm. For example, put it down in the middle and you all go and stick on it. What about that? <laughs> <laughs>
What about if the bread table ends up directly in front of where Fiona is standing and the narration gets done differently? Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Put the bread table there. Let's yeah, try what that would mean. For the whole thing, Peter, or at the end? No, for when he does it. Okay. To put it there. Okay, put it in that position. Right against the canvas. You want to take it against, against the canvas. Okay. Good. Good. Right there. It's in nobody's view now. It's in everybody's view and it's not blocking anything. Good. Okay. Then comes the flying, the same thing you did, and the bread goes down there. And we spit on the airplane, which is much more visible now. It's right in the middle, even there. That's where it would be. Okay, it got spat upon. Happiness students and applicants from all walks of life. Happiness students and happiness applicants must be from all walks of life, either nude or fancy or whatever. Okay. Happiness students and applicants from all walks of life must not act soloistically, but in communication of others. In communication with others. Say it again. Let's speak a little slower and louder because we're in a parking lot. Our trucks are going to be going on. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the truck. from all walks of life. Let's not act soloistically, but in communication with others. Yeah. In communication with others. Good. OK, good. Next one. We should dance. Dance. Yeah. Appropriate dance, please. And yeah, but what is it? <laughs> Enthusiastic volunteer participation 
of clouds, wind. Um, There's one more thing. Let me, let me just point these things out. We are rehearsing the thought, yeah? So when you have to stick here and you say cloud, it's not very effective. But when the stick is away from it, then you point of clouds, of chickadees, of coyotes, etc. <laughs> And B, enthusiastic volunteer participation of clouds, wind. No, wind is not in the picture. Wind is what they do. So for clouds, don't do anything. He points to the picture. And for wind, you point to the company. Yeah, no. it's fine enough. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. B, enthusiastic participation of clouds. No, no cloud making. No, 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 no. Wind. That's what we do. Can we unify our wind moves? It's very stronger to come with unison without. So how do we want to do wind? What's wind? Go oh, oh, up and down. Either side, way, so, yeah? Can we do side and opposite side, arm swings, and side? Let's say three, strike, yeah? To the right for that. Right. Five. Left. Yeah. Good. Is that enough? Let's try it again. B. Enthusiastic. Uh, enthusiastic volunteer participation of clouds. And this was so good. Let me just point that out. Did you see that? He said the whole line. Then he got the stick ready. Then only when he said the word, he pointed. Yeah. This is exactly how it should be. Oh. B, enthusiastic volunteer participation of there we clouds, go. wind. Coyotes. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do a little howling. What do I do for ladybugs? For what? Ladybugs. Ladybugs? Yeah, it says ladybugs. Ladybugs? Oh, ladybugs, we don't, they can't see them. They're so small. You can point to anywhere in the picture and we will assume you, you just pointed to them. Cheat, it's called cheating. It's a lot. Ladybugs! Chickadees! They are not painted, no. And just say them. That's all. And Music is the tree. Boom. Trees! Good. Now we believe you. Good. Good, okay. And next one? Um, do we have a dance or anything yeah. on? Or just a tree? Uh, do we need tree to feel dance? obliged to a dance every time? Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. Tree dance? Why not? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Are they going to be the trees? Yeah. Hmm? They can, when he says trees, they come trees, out. you go up with your arms, and then we do a tree dance. Yeah. And, they, and you say it, tree dance, trees. Okay. Good. You end up with the word trees, and instead of his stick, we all play trees, and you say tree dance, trees, and we do it. Yeah? Tree dance. Okay. Good. Under, what if we had, I could do the instrumental thing on the flute. Do it, okay. do it, do it, do it. It's good. And trees. That's me. So if we use that here, then we want that to go throughout. Yeah. So we figure out when we go next time through it, we figure out where to get that. Okay, can we do number 11 now? All together? Number 11. Right. Number 11. Step six. The resulting intoxicated life shuns all ordinariness and declares pea soup to be as holy as the Holy Grail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he has a paper voice. Yeah. So totally, totally acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Next dance, sing. <laughs> Appropriate pea soup dance, please. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Step six. The resulting intoxicated life shuns all ordinariness and declares pea soup to be as holy as the Holy Grail. Yeah, but if you, you shouldn't say peace of you say the holy peace of holy holy peace of 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 holy peace holy peace of holy peace holy peace of holy But now you all step to your sides, to the side of the pictures. Oh. All, all of you, that, yeah. you can you keep that stick now, and you point to it, and no, I don't think you should use the stick. I think the next one, somebody read the number, all of you say the number. Number 12! Now you get a drum beat, and all your fingers point to that picture. Let's do it with a little more fanfare. So instead of just a single stick, do a little, 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 bang. Good. And now keep the fingers there, keep them there, and now say the next lines in unison. The exalted. The exalted. All in which. All in which. We exist. We exist. Demands. Demands. It was not understandable. I'm not sure. Fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, the exalted. The exalted. All in which. All in which. No, I don't understand that. That says something wrong. The exalted all in which. We exist. All in which we exist. The exalted all in which we exist demands our oh, exaltation. But then the word, the, the noun is the word all. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, exactly. word, the exalted all okay. in which we all exist. That's it. Yeah? Good. The exalted all in which. No, no. The exalted, the exalted all. Comma. It sounds like the which. Right? The exalted all. The exalted all. In which we exist. No, in, in which, which we, we exist. all exist. We beat the word. In which we all exist. Yeah, good. Say it again. The exalted all. The exalted all. In which we all exist. In which we all exist. Demands our exaltation. Demands our exaltation. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> yeah, that makes a good line. A good ending. <laughs> good. Uh, but uh, uh, we need a short break. We need to go through this again, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And this is an example of how hard and long it can take to do one little kind of story. Wait. So the idea of skipping through it in a short quarter of an hour didn't work because this one right now took more than an hour. This little bit. Yeah. So this is a good example of that we can't make the projects as complicated as this thing. We have to have simpler projects. We will work this one out. We do it again now. And we do it again tomorrow before we go to Arctic. For whoever is here. Oh, great. Let me go. Hey, And the people want their individual lines, I think, also printed out that 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It has its demands on us. But it's not achieved on us. It's achieved, it has its demands on us. Say it one more time, Holly. As soon as any quantity of happiness is achieved, it has its demands on us. Good. That Appro is better understandable, right? That was pretty good. Appro and now what? Appropriate dance. Now the seat goes down on the floor. Remember? At the end of it, down on the floor. Oh, yeah. Now, good. Okay. <laughs> Appropriate dance, please. Now come to These dances are way better if you use the full space instead of where you're standing. So go all over the place. This is for the entertainment part. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Not very. Right? Four. 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 which must confront the degraded environment and politics and the consequent unnecessary okay. suffering. Oh, Remember, we sorry. wanted to go to the same side. Remember suffering, when he says unnecessary, head? the hand goes on the head and on some point. Want to try it again? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Number. From the standpoint of happiness, a new sense has to be invented, which must confront the degraded environment, politics, and the consequent unnecessary suffering. Good. Number five. Here are six steps. One, One two. two. Intoxicated life. Intoxicated life. Dance, please. Intoxication is Intoxicated life. Dance, please. to whatever first note you hear, yeah? For singing. And then the yelling, what are you yelling? Yeah! <laughs> in private, in public places, which are deprived from happiness, we, the last time we did it in public places that people did, mm -hmm. and then, which are deprived. Good, do that, together. do that. That's okay. a good person. Together. Do it. Okay. okay. So, singing! Whoa. The whole, whole line, you shall be fine. Okay. Then say the whole line, then do the action. Okay. Uh, In public places which are deprived of happiness. Yeah, good. Now come to that. Yeah, make it a little more slump the dances, yeah? Make it first slump over. Uh, 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 uh. It's more fun for form. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, number eight. eight. Uh, this one's done by Holly. Yep. Who wants to grab eight? 
That's the big no, one. No, no, Fiona did that too. Great. Fiona did that. Great. So that's great. Let's try to see how we get. Good. Okay. Set. Step three. Pertinent slogans for the moment at hand. Bread, not bombs. Big reaction for that when the bread goes on the table. Can you all uh, shout yes together? Yes. Let's try that. Yeah? <laughs> well, at the moment where the bread touches the table, yeah? yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes! Good. Next? And then. Yeah. That thing goes in here, that's right. Pick up the stick, who's the next speaker? Uh, I, it, it was Fiona. Or it was Howard. Happiness, Apple. Wherever you are, you are available, so do it. <laughs> Step four. <laughs> Happiness students and applicants must be from all walks of life. No, not gen general. The, the stick isn't good for general. Okay. It's good for that. From all. Walk of life, as you see here, right? Write that out to us. Happiness students and applicants must be from all walks of life. Good. Good. And must not act solicitly, but in communion of others. This is the word of the Communion dance, please. Now that's not visible, it's too fast. So I mean, first the dance stops, right click, stop, then you all go. One, two, three. On the other. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, not visible, it should connect it too fast. Yeah? Number Do it again. 10. Again? Yes, please. Okay, communion dance, please. <laughs> Good. No, not into anywhere. It's on the airplane. Oh, on the airplane. Can you stay in the circle? No, no, no. Point. Let's say in the point. So this is the circle. Don't start a dance. I know, I know, I know. People go into the circle. And shall we break the circle when we stick, or keep the circle when we no, stick? No, you need to keep the circle. Keep the circle. Oh, because that the that is the ultimate fault to happiness. Okay. Let's go and hold okay. your hands. Then the music sounds. Okay. Not uh, as you get there. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's do that. Yeah? So, One communion. Time. One more. Dance, please. Yeah, this is the spinning is done very easy if you let go of your hand. Yeah? And so do that spinning again. So here's the hand, your last note of hands. <laughs> now it's visible. Good. Okay. Number ten. ten. Two step away from the picture a little, then you can point. Yeah, I yeah, know the ladder shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. The immediate results. Uh, wait. Yeah. The immediate results. Resignation of the incompetent government. Uh, yeah. Yay! Yay! No, the sentence isn't complete. I think it, it qualifies. It says. The immediate results are astounding. And then the lines. Yeah? The astounding results. Yeah. yeah or the astounding results. Number 10. Ten. Ten. The astounding results. A. The immediate resignation of the incompetent government. Yeah. B. The, uh, 
Enthusiastic voluntary participation of clouds wind <laughs> coyotes <laughs> chickadees <laughs> and trees.
which is partial because of the overwhelming presence of the military industrial complex. Military industrial dance, please. happiness achieved merely by the act of wood splitting. Number three! As soon as any quantity of happiness is achieved, it has its toys. Appropriate dance, please. Chickadees. 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 And tree. 
life shuns all ordinariness and declares pea soup as holy as the Holy Grail. Holy pea soup dance, please.